This is Lord Thaddeus Cray. Normally I would be doing something on either a theory or belief of some cryptid or some other mythological being or some other manner. But this is going to be a little bit different. And it's because of the events of which I have seen and also how I've seen people act on every side and corner. The fact is, there's a lot of anger and animosity out there. And I've said before that there is definitely a spirit attached to a lot of the things that we as a community are into. So I'm not going to keep harping on that. There's no need to. It's best to move beyond and on past that point. But I am going to tell you, it is not just about trying to defend oneself against the influence of such supernatural affairs or the attachments which people have. It's more than that. You have to understand something. What are human beings powered by? Desire, drives, needs, wants especially. And so to say that's all tied into emotion. We have a biological drive to achieve our goals. And emotion is the fuel which gives the logic the direction in which to turn in order to achieve the task to acquire your desired end result of the goal in which you set in place. That's the best way I know to describe it. More importantly, what is this ability when it comes to the ability to sense others' emotions? It is called empathy. This is what I'm going to talk about. Empathy is a very powerful force. It is a very, it's actually a beautiful thing. The ability to sense the emotions of another person and actually try to offer comfort or support. These things are needed in life. This is one of the bonds of love, devotion, and of course, just quite literally the light in the darkness that is all around us. And of course, you know, the love of the Creator is the purest form of love out there. And it is an empathy which we are all linked to. It's actually beyond that, but that's the best way I can describe it. Now, I'm just going to let you guys know, there has been a lot of negative emotions put out there. And we all need to be uh, very careful with this. I'm not going to mention names, that's not what I'm here to do. But those who know me already know that, again, you guys know that I have definitely been embroiled in quite a bit of some emotional turmoil when it comes to seeing what I've seen and hearing what I've heard and different things from different individuals. Now I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at this. One has to guard their emotions where they can. You need to find ways in order to find a method, whether it be meditation, grounding yourself, whatever it is. You must protect your own emotions and learn that it is very easy, if you're not careful, to project the emotions you have absorbed from other people towards innocent people. This is something that I have to be very careful with. I am actually able to sense emotions pretty easily. I'm almost what you would call, some people would call an empath. That's just fact. You need to be careful with this. Learn techniques in which to protect yourself as best you can. How to do that, I'm not here to tell you that. That's your own way to find. I've managed my own path, and that's just the way of it. But I was letting you guys know, you must find a way to protect your emotions, because that in itself, if someone is angry or they're upset, that's infectious. Again, it has to go with the attachments from one of the earlier videos I said. That, the emotion you feel, or the emotion even they project or you project, that is literally a pathway to where the results of that negative or positive energy can be latched onto you. It is best to literally be, as I said before, be careful what you put in your head, but also you must be careful about the emotions that are within you, and especially the emotions you project. Because the fact is, you have to defend yourself in order to be able to properly manage what is within you. Try your best to keep away from negative people. That's very difficult to do in these frustrating times. But if you can do that, 
or at least find a way to protect yourself from the energy that these negative people project and don't internalize it, I guarantee you, you will be better off for it. That's really the best way I know to say anything right about now. There's not much more to say on this one subject, but it is very important that people heed my words on this. We're in wild times, and the fact is, no matter what community you're part of, right now one must be careful of the energy that some more dark-minded individuals will seek to put out. That's the best way I know to say it. Keep yourself safe out there, and be blessed and be safe.